Welcome back to Masspeel. So today we're joined by Justin Haynes. He's the founder of Just10H and he's a designer. He's teaching us how we can tailor our clothes for spring. Thank you for joining us today. So you were saying it earlier when we were doing the Style Squad, you don't need to run out and buy a whole new spring wardrobe. Not at all. You can take what you have and make it work for spring. Exactly. What we have here is some old clothes that were in the closets. You know, some things that, you know, once were hot that we thought, but we just put them back in the closets. And what we want to do is pull those things out and mm -hmm. kind of make them into spring wear. Um, and one thing you can do as far as like denim and khaki, you never want to throw those those pieces out because you can wear them again, but also you can resurface them into spring clothing. Exactly. So you can make crop pants, you can make shorts, mm -hmm. you know, we can make sleeveless shirts, we can do a lot of things. So, so that's why you never throw anything away because never throw clothes, away. they last for a long time unless right. you're really beat on them. Exactly. So what do you want to do first? You want to make a shirt first? Let's start with the shirt. What okay. we want to do is, um, I want to start with this shirt first. That's here on the, it's a basic Ralph Lauren shirt but basically it was something that was in the closet mm -hmm. for summer. What you can do is cut the sleeves and make it a sleeveless shirt. Very if cool. You are, you know, if you're, you know, you know, a little self-conscious about your arms. That is you me. Can do, you can <laughs> add a t-shirt to it, you know, and kind of make it a trendy kind of statement. That is you know? pretty trendy. So it's a shirt still that you can use, but we've cut the sleeves and there's some, you know, some, you know, ridges around the sleeve. It makes it kind of rugged. And yeah. It makes it look like it actually was bought out of the department store. That's true. This looks like a yeah, pretty expensive shirt that you can go out and get. Exactly. I'd also wear this to the gym to really show off those guns that I right, have. Right, right, right. <laughs> we want to do that. Yeah. We want to do that. But to make a short sleeve shirt, what you want to do is, you always want to try to find a shirt that kind of it's best, like a short sleeve shirt that you had like the season before. Mm -hmm. You want to make sure that, you know, if that's the shirt, the length that you want, you can go like me, I guess. I just guess. Yeah. Make it. But on, on a, like take me for example, where would I want my short sleeve shirt to be? It can be anywhere you want it to be. Really? There's really no right or wrong. I mean, if you want a short sleeve shirt that's here, or if you want an elbow shirt, that's all in what you want to do. Fashion is about taking risks. You got to remember that. There is that's no true. do or don'ts anymore. We want to make sure that we do what's pleasing to us. Yeah. And you can't make mistakes as long as you're having fun right. and you're trying it out. Exactly. So you want to make sure that everything is even. And the key thing that we're using is our wonderful hem tape. Okay. This makes it so you don't necessarily need a sewing machine. Exactly. You don't need a sewing machine and you don't need to go to any tailor or anything. This is something you can do at home. Mm -hmm. So usually what I do is I kind of make a, a cut and I make so, it straight. And he's not even measuring, folks. I don't measure. Straight. I don't measure because however it comes out is the way it's supposed to be for me. If you were to want to try to measure, if someone wasn't as I would, risky as I would, if, if you're not as risky as me, either I would go with a shirt, like I said, a shirt that you, know, that you used last summer and mm -hmm. that is a good length. Try it on and then measure it to here. Oh, I got gotcha. you. Okay. Okay. What we did was we cut it a little longer. Of course, it doesn't have to be you know, where it needs to be. But you always want to cut maybe an inch out or so because you have inch to hem out, it Inch out because you have to hem in. it back in because you don't want that rugged look. So what you would do is you would fold it over, mm -hmm. making sure... It's straight. You know what this works for too? Kids. Kid, this is very good for kids. Mm -hmm. Very good for kids. Great, very good for moms who don't always want to go out and buy clothing. Exactly. This is great. Growing they grow all the time. Right? Yep. So what you do is we use our iron. Can I have the iron? Absolutely, you can. There we are. Oh, Ooh, there's water in that bit. iron. <laughs> a little bit of water in there. Just make sure you bring it down a little bit. What you do is, not this much iron, water, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> don't soak your shirt. <laughs> You're right. But we want to make sure you make that even. So you want to make the hem first. Just like okay. when we go back to like hemming the pants. Mm -hmm. And what you're going to do is I'll, we have one that's already opened over here. Some hemming tape. Hemming tape. What I do is I usually just measure from in here to in here, out here. Okay. Without messing up the hem, I just go back inside. See, that's my problem. I always mess up the hem. Yeah, don't mess up the inside. hem. Just go back inside. Even well, though you made that line. Done, Justin. <laughs> <laughs> even though you made that line. Yeah. You know, I always want to go back in. So you can use that line as a visual. Too. That's your visual. And you're using two pieces of hemming tape, one for each side. One right? for each side. I gotcha. And what you do is you fold it over and then we press it down again and that will adhere it. Easy enough. Easy enough. Now, so we do the same thing with the pants. So this is our, these are our pants exercises over here and it's pretty much the same thing. You find it where thing. you want to cut it. Right. And that's why it goes with your models. So you have visual and here's your model here. Let's put them on top. Okay. Gotcha. So this is the short length that you want. I will cut down an inch a little bit. So we'll cut here. So that you have the time. So you to have fold the time up. to fold it right back up so you can make a clear. And you and can do it for bottom. pants or jeans. Jeans, khakis, old skirts that are too long. That's not a bad idea. Ladies just fold them right up. Yeah, turn a that. dress into a skirt. Exactly, too. even to blazers. If the sleeves are too long, cut, just fold it up. Hem tape is a, is just a great adhesive mm -hmm. and it works, you know, if you take the time to really do it. And it saves you money from 
That's true. And there's always, too, those single occasion dresses. I mean, I don't have many single occasion dresses, but, you know, your bridesmaid dress, your prom dress. Exactly. If you can alter those a little. Why not? Because you, you paid a lot of money for exactly. it Exactly. I mean, small stuff like that. Like, if it's a long dress, you want to make it a party dress, just cut it. Mm -hmm. Let's him it, and you're good to go. And you're good. So, shirts, pants, you can do it all. All it takes is a little time, a little bit of effort. Just a little time and effort. Justin, thank you so much thank for stopping you so much. by today. By the way, this is a coat that Justin made. It looks pretty cool. So looks now great. it does. I it think really, I kind of measured I, it right. I think I, maybe we have the same body type. Right, I think that might be it. I feel cool. Though. Great. <laughs> Great.